वेलकम व्यूअर्स दिस इज ग्रीन गाय टैरो एंड दिस इज योर नेक्स्ट सेवन डेज करियर एंड फाइनेंस टैरो प्रोडिक्शन विद कार्ड रीडिंग सो टेक अ डी ब्रेथ सिलेक्ट योर ऑप्शन फ्रॉम पायल नंबर वन टू एंड थ्री एंड वी विल स्टार्ट द रीडिंग फ्रॉम पायल नंबर वन वेलकम पायल नंबर वन दिस इज योर नेक्स्ट सेवन डेज करियर एंड फाइनेंस टेरो प्रोडिक्शन विद कार्ड रीडिंग सो लेट्स बिगिन द रीडिंग विद द टेरो देन वी विल फॉलो योर ऑर्कल कार्ड्स पायल नंबर वन your first card is will of fortune the major arcana next you have the magician another major arcana and the final card is the eight of swords so pile number 1 i can tell you in this week you are definitely seeing very strong bold big changes and those changes are for your good probably you are the one who is changing the situation for yourself big time because you are blessed with all that you need to manifest your dreams and desire and goals into your reality you are working really hard to definitely find all that you seek in this week will of fortune is telling me definitely in this week you are going to find a lot more than you expected something is very very big and surprising and good that is coming in for you your second card magician tells that you are empowered and there is nothing that you need to worry about in this week and you will definitely be blessed with lots of opportunities new beginnings and definitely more wealth your final card is 8 of swords this is the card that tells me in this week you are the one who can stop your progress and growth by fearing the unknown other than that there is nothing that can stop you so if you have any sort of anxiety or any kind of worries about something that you don't know clearly and you are feeling stuck for that situation you need to follow more information following more information finding more information will help you out communicating with people who knows that matter better than you will definitely give you the advantage you can definitely seek inspiration guidance from some professional who will allow you to enrich your knowledge to pursue your better future so pile number 1 that was the tarot for you let's see what we have for you in the oracle cards your first card is compromise this is the card that tells me that you need to definitely have the right balance in your energies in your work don't over invest on anything don't cut corners at anything put the right amount of efforts receive the proper returns your next card is communicate clearly so clear communication is something that is going to give you advantage in this week so definitely follow that part your next card is journaling constantly writing about your feelings and activities tears creative ideas and builds your confidence as a writer if you are a creative person or a writer definitely that what you need to do if not journaling keeping records following the records going through them is definitely something that is going to give you the advantage and here comes the anxiety card this is the card that is again giving me the eight of swords energy but you are creating this difficulty for yourself because there is not there is the situation that is not much of a bigger deal and you are feeling this anxiety because you don't know that as you come to know more about that situation that you are fearing or feeling worried about you will see that it is not that bigger of a deal so definitely seek the knowledge 
the guidance, the information. And your final card is Between Worlds. This is the card that again assures you that with the Wheel of Fortune, change is there and you are in between worlds in this week. You are ending big cycles, beginning new ones and you need to have patience with yourself, with your situations. Yes, change is sometimes difficult and worrisome, but you need to have the confidence in you that you can do it. So be mindful of these energies. Pile number one, this was your next seven days career and finance tarot prediction pick a card reading. If you like my reading, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much for your participation. Have a great week ahead. Welcome pile number two. This is your next seven days career and finance tarot prediction pick a card reading. Let's start the reading with the tarot then we'll follow your oracle cards. Pile number two, your first card is the lovers. The major arcana next you have the two of coins then you have the king of cups next you have the eight of cups this is your extra card okay pile number two i can tell you right away this is going to be a week for you where you are going to collaborate or partner up with someone and that person definitely can be your life partner too and this partnership is going to be fruitful for you for the long run and you don't have to worry about anything in this partnership situation your next card is a two of coins that is the card that tells that you need to find the right balance in your work situations because you are juggling multiple projects or responsibilities at this point of time and it is draining your energies if you don't find the proper rest and rejuvenation, you might lose focus and that will definitely interrupt your juggling. So be careful about that. Your next card is the King of Cups. This is the card that tells that you are very much empowered in this week. You have the control of your right emotion and that is something that is going to give you the mental clarity. You are going to follow your intuition, your creative ideas to pursue anything and everything that you need in this week to conquer any situation in your career and finance. Your next card and the extra card that came is the Eight of Cups. This is the card that tells that you are moving on from a past situation that was no longer serving you the best it was probably some project that didn't have the market value at this point of time and you are changing your ways of business or work or strategies and you are definitely working hard for a better and brighter future with new and innovative ideas and this change of path is going to bring you towards your success so pile number two that was the tarot for you let's see what we have for you in the oracle cards your first card is if you believe this is the card that tells me that you need to have the confidence in you to achieve and you need to have the confidence in you to pursue anything that you desire you don't have to have any drop of doubt in you that you are able you are already doing multiple things you can do it your next card is not the right time so if you were thinking about something big or some situation that needs your focus right away you need to pause that urge to move forward with that particular project of yours and you have to get more information as you get more information you will definitely see why you have to halt before you move forward 
Your next card is keep going. Use the energy of any disappointments to fuel your creative project with authentic emotions. Okay, this is the card that again is giving me the energy of the King of Cups. You are using your emotions right. You are in full control of your emotion and any sort of disappointment or negative energy that you felt previously regarding some situation that was stuck or wasn't really fruitful for you you are using it as a fuel to charge yourself for better and brighter future works and that way you are going to get the world this world card is again giving me the energy of big endings and new beginnings and this is a part in your life where you are very abundant and wealth is definitely there your next and final card is regeneration this is the card that tells about blessed second chances so no matter how difficult or chaotic the situation seems around you you are going to bloom the best because you have the divine blessings and it is the time for you to shine so pile number two this was your next seven days career and finance tarot prediction pick a card reading if you like my reading please hit the like button don't forget to share subscribe and comment thank you very much for your participation have a great week ahead welcome pile number three this is your next seven days career finance tarot prediction pick a card reading let's see what we have for you in the tarot then we'll follow your oracle cards Pile number three, your first card is Queen of Wands. Next, you have the Four of Swords. Then you have the Two of Cups. And the final card is Two of Swords. This is your extra card. So, pile number three, in this week, you are creative, you are empowered, you are grounded, and you are not stopping for anything. You have set your goals, you have your to-do list and you are determined to definitely follow through. There is nothing that can stop you but you need to be definitely mindful because the very next card is the Four of Swords. As you are prepared to put in all the work that is needed, you need to take care of yourself. Some sort of retreat, rest, rejuvenation is also needed with yourself or with the situation that you have in your hand. Because if you need to be productive, you need your rest too. Proper focus and innovative ideas will definitely come if you have a recharged and refreshed mind. So be mindful of that, praying, meditating, grounding your energies, having a walk in the nature is definitely something that you have to have time for in this week. Your next card is the Two of Cups. So there will be collaboration, partnership happening that can definitely be happening with your life partner also. If not, this is going to be a partnership where you are going to see a lots of potential and inspiration and very in tune working environment if you are going on with this collaboration and this is something that is going to be beneficial for you your next and final card is two of swords this is your extra card that card is telling you to choose by following your intuition and your desired outcomes while making decisions you have to be following your gut feeling regarding the goals and definitely you need to select the path where you are feeling very driven or passionate about the creative project. So pile number three, that was the tarot for you. Let's see what we have for you in the Oracle cards. Okay, your first card says reconsider. So definitely thinking, meditating, upon situation and decisions is something that you need to do and as the four of swords was telling that you need to reconsider some situation and for that 
you need to retreat. Your next card again tells you to wait. So this is the card that is telling you not to rush. There is some important situation that you need to think things through. And for that you need time. Probably you will find some information later on. So don't rush into anything. Your next and final card is choose a new direction. So if you are feeling stuck about something or you get the information that will give you the knowledge that there is some sort of obstacle or challenges ahead of you, you need to choose a new direction and that will give you more advantage your next card is express your inner truth your creative work shines brightest when it reflects your genuine feelings and thoughts so you need to follow your own true feelings thoughts regarding your work situation this can be your creative ideas your work anything what is your gut feeling telling you what is your own ideas don't try to trim them for anyone don't try to box them for later it is the time for you to express your truth your final card a sorry it's not your final card there are plenty more your next card is yin and yang card this is the card that tells you to find the right balance and this is the card that tells that there will be a collaboration that is very much important this card tells you to act when you need to and find the rest when you have to don't over invest your energies yes hard work is needed but don't just work and work and work have the time to rest your next card is victory so if you be patient if you have the right balance in your life you will see the victory for sure because it is there your next card is all that glitters this is why you have to choose wisely and you have to be patient there are situation people things around you that are not at their true appearance so there is something that is masked that is unknown and you need to know that better your final card is orphan this is the card that tells that the path ahead of you might not have many people around you but it is the time when you are going to challenge yourself to follow through every goals that you set for yourself. It is the path when you are walking alone because you have the abilities and no one else can take this journey with you. So pile number three, this was your next seven days career and finance tarot prediction pick a card reading if you like my reading please hit the like button don't forget to share subscribe and comment thank you very much for your participation have a great week ahead so viewers this was your next seven days career finance tarot prediction pick a card reading if you like my reading please hit the like button don't forget to sorry don't forget to share subscribe and comment thank you very much for your participation have a great week ahead